Hi, this is the um, the monitor I'm using, and the, it's a 10 1084s P1, and this is the base, the back part, so you can see. I found this cord here. But the thing is, this is missing a couple of pins, so would that be a problem? The the front comes out like a white um, light at the front of the monitor when connected to the Amiga 500. And that's the other end. I'll show you the pins. Would the pin, the fact the pins are missing, would that mean that like it can't connect? properly and what I did I connected this up and then I pressed in the the button which says RGB so this is the like with that the fact is um, four missing pins without make it not connect uh, the picture. I'm just asking you that. And then what I did here, I uh, pressed, I pushed this button in, this one, CVBS RGB, I pushed it in. It's off now, but earlier I had it pushed in. And then I connected them with a pin, but it still just came out like a white screen. And these other two are left pushed out. And since it's off, I push them all up. And so what do I connect this part here with a... I'm thinking about buying another one that is no broken pins. And then do you stick um, the two, like an extra two or whatever, um, you know, they call RV cords, I think. Like this kind of cord at the back, like into here. Like, and you have to change the settings and all this stuff. So this is horizontal size, vertical size, vertical shift, analog TTL. How do you use analog as well? Otherwise, I've also got one, hold on a sec. I've got another another monitor here. This is the 1081. That's for an Omega 1000, and it has the connecting for this. I found this connection, so And I've also got that TV at the back there, which I wouldn't mind using as a TV to connect to them. But the problem is it's only got the small IGB port, I think. The the one you showed me was like a SCART, but this does not fit this TV, the SCART. So is there one um, that you recommend that will fit that TV, like an IGB? I'll try to show you that too. And that's the Omega I'm using there. This one here. And the connection for this is here. So what, what would you recommend for that, for Omega 500? All right, thanks guys, appreciate it. Any help would be appreciated, thank you, bye.